What's going on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning into another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys would like to see. And as you guys can tell by the title of the video, it is game day today. It's our first game, uh, our first home game in history of the Southwind Lions. So it's going to be a super uh, cool day. I'm going to be vlogging for you guys as usual. Show you guys how I prepare for a home game, what I do mentally, or um, how I get ready physically. So. Like I said, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the video. Let's get it here. All right, y'all. So like I said, it is game day. And as you can tell, I have the biggest smile on my face. Whenever it's game day, I'm super ready. I'm pumped up. I can't wait to play. Uh, right now, I'm just chilling. So I'm just gonna flip the camera and show you guys. I'm just about to have some breakfast. Uh, just chill on the laptop, uh, watch a bit of Netflix, just to get used to the day. Chill a little bit, banana, coffee. And I'm thinking I probably have some uh, pasta for lunch. So nothing too crazy. Uh, after I have breakfast, I'm probably gonna get the, to the usual stretching routine that I've been showing you guys. I got a new um, lacrosse ball that I can use. so. I'm really gonna get some good stretches in on the glutes and things. So I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, kick back. You guys already know on game days, there's not usually, uh, usually a lot of things that we can do. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna kick back and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright y'all, so we are currently on a new Netflix series. This one is called Who Killed Sarah? Uh, a lot of the guys in the house have been watching it and they've convinced me to start it, so it's been pretty cool. Uh, it also fits into the fact that I've been trying to learn Spanish. I've been on Duolingo. Well, I should be on it more, but I'm trying to learn Spanish because uh, whenever I meet people who speak more than three or four languages, I find it to be so cool. So, uh, like right now I speak English, a little bit of French and Creole. So if I could learn Spanish, that would be, that'd be pretty cool, man. So, uh, yeah, I'm just chilling. You guys know the vibes already, man. Just chilling. Bananas all done. Coffee's almost done. And then we're gonna get stretching for about 30, 30 to 45 minutes. Good stretching. And then probably do some meditation. I've also been meditation, uh, meditating a lot. So after I stretch, uh, I'll put my headphones in, listen to some music, and just visualize things. So, uh, like I told you guys in my previous videos, like I'll visualize myself doing good things on the pitch. I'll visualize uh, defending a player 1v1 well. I'll visualize getting a good cross in or serving a good free kick or a, a corner kick. So, uh, that's pretty much going to be the morning. Just chill out until I have lunch, honestly. So, not much going on, but it is game day. So, I'm pumped up excited game day, game day baby i've actually realized that uh more recently i get more pumped up or i'm more uh, energized to play i think it's because i spend so much time off so throughout that whole year and a half never playing this just has made me even more hungrier now so on game days like i'm super pumped up i can't wait like and it's actually it's actually kind of it's kind of funny to see but it's like that time that i had off you know, uh, it's benefited me getting like more ready for the games because that's one thing that I would struggle in, in 2019 or in my previous years in my career, honestly, it's just been um, like getting up for a game. You know, there'll be days where I'll be angry and I'll be pumped up and I'll be ready to go. But then there'll also be days where it's kind of just like nonchalant, you know, but I feel like it's been consistent so far this summer where every single game day I wake up and I'm like, it's game day. You know, and it's a business, so which is good. We're making progress, we're getting better, and we're learning, so it's perfect. When you know and your knees can't rise, you feel helpless and you're looking to the sky. Some people would say to accept defeat. What if this is fate? Then we'll find a way to cheat. Cause oh, oh, oh. Quick little snack, y'all. Quick little snack. My dog ate Dukes. 
made a smoothie. Let's test it out, bro. Good looks. My dog. All right, y'all. So it is currently 11.30 right now. I got my snack ready, got the laptop ready. I'm just, for the next hour or two, I'm just gonna be getting some work done. Gonna do some editing, get some work done for OPSM, organize training back home, and then organize some online training things. So for the next hour or two, I'm just gonna be locked in, just trying to get some work in, take my mind off the game a little bit, you know, just to, uh, stay focused. So I also wanted to take this time to talk to you guys about a combine that's happening. There's gonna be a combine in Michigan. Uh, that OPSM is hosting if you guys are in the area if you guys are stuck in lockdown and you guys need highlights you guys need games you guys need footage it could be a great opportunity for you guys uh, I mean there's not necessarily an age that you have to be in but I'd say if you're above 16 if you're 16 and above it might help you out you know uh, if you're looking for game footage one you get highlights and you can also get exposure I know there'll be different clubs and different coaches there so it could be a good opportunity especially with these lockdowns and these uh, things that have been going on with COVID definitely a good opportunity for you guys so like I said for the next hour or two I'm just going to be kicking back just chilling getting some work done taking my mind off the game and then when I'm done it's going to be all about the game I'm going to get focused going to get ready we have a pre-game later so we're going to be studying the other team and going over our game plan so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple bit and I'll see you guys soon Yo, so it is currently 2 p.m. right now. I'm um, just getting ready to head out to the pregame meeting. I got all my stuff ready. So we have to wear our polos, anything on the bottoms. I'm just gonna have a quick snack, snack on this apple, and I'll see you guys when we get to the Croc Center. So let's get it. You can't stop the tears from falling down. I got you, yeah? <laughs> 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 Yo, welcome to the voiceover. So since I'm going to be dropping a full game analysis, I thought I'd just throw up some highlights for you guys on here. So this was one of our first chances that we had. And as you guys know, uh, I'm on the set pieces. So most of the free kicks, the corner kicks, I take them. So you guys will be seeing me doing a lot of set pieces this season. This was a corner that we took. Uh, it wasn't a bad corner. The ball came back out to me and apparently the ref said, it was uh it went out of bounds so um they called it a goal kick for them and this was the goal so the ball comes into our number 10 here amas chips it over the defender blasts it top corner and guys the feeling that we had this was the first goal or uh you know the first goal in south Bend history so we we're all buzzing everyone was so pumped up as you guys can see us so uh we started off the first half 1-0 and into the uh, first half, this was another chance that we had. So the ball was swung out to the right side. Um, our winger does a really good job. Gigi takes the ball down, plates a great ball in, and Mateos almost uh, gets it in to the far post, and the keeper makes a good save. So uh, a lot of chances for us. And then this was also another really good chance. So 
move the ball out ball comes out to the winger plays a good ball across from a mass and we just missed it so as you guys can see i just pop up for um support play a decent ball in and we get a good um header well you know it's a good opportunity i feel like it's not a bad ball and if we can get on that on target it would be a good scoring opportunity so uh, we do well to keep the ball and then try to play through the middle but end up losing a foul and uh, this is a set piece play back post uh, they do a good job of clearing it uh, but that's one of the set pieces that we work on a lot on training so playing that back post to get it across um, and then we just keep the ball try to play out to the other side and I think uh, they do a good job defensively so uh, this is their goal so uh, honestly uh, our team has been really strong defensively and I just feel like it's uh, most of these goals that uh, are killing us. So just a free kick, uh, takes a great uh, great free kick, hits the bar down. I didn't think it was in, but the sideline said it was in. And I think Nick was still setting up his wall and the ref blew his whistle. And so they ended up scoring. So 1-1 in the 82nd minute. This was a set piece in the second half that we got a pretty good opportunity on. Uh, I'll play in swinger ball. Um, Try to play it inside. Thought it was a good ball, and we just missed it. Junior uh, told me he just closed his eyes, but another good opportunity from that. And I think uh, the next, this was the last play of the game. This was the next free kick that I took. Same thing. Uh, and David, honestly, always gets to the end of these uh, set pieces. I don't know how, but this is another great opportunity that we had. So uh, the game ended up finishing 1-1, but uh, I think I play a good ball in here. And David just uh, couldn't get it on target. So. Yo, so it is 7.30 right now. We got just got back from the game. Oh, honestly, guys, first half, we started off really well. The game ended 1-1, as you guys saw in the voiceover. But I thought we played really well defensively. Very unfortunate on the free kick goal. I think um, we were strong first half. Second half, we made a couple mistakes, but stood defensively. We were, we were really strong. And I think just those little mistakes as usual that killed us. But I know we tied 1-1, but it feels like a loss. And it sucks, but what can you do? So. Uh, home now and probably just gonna chill for a little bit i played 90 today so my legs are kind of heavy probably gonna hop in the shower soon stretch do my night routine and then get ready because we have a training session tomorrow uh light recovery and then we go again on monday so i'm just gonna chill for a bit think about the game just chill out for the next 30 minutes shower and then i'll see you guys in a little bit Yo, so it's currently 9.30 right now. Uh, I'm just getting ready to shower. Just probably gonna be chilling for the next couple hours, watch some Netflix, just kick back, think about the game. I'm probably gonna watch the footage. So then that way I can see how I played, you know, and uh, get better for the next game. So 1-1, one, one, you know what, first game, in, uh, first home game in history for the South Bend Lions. I feel like we had good chances. We could have put our chances away. It's not like we played bad, we played good. I think defensively, we worked really well together. And you know, we just gotta keep keep pushing and keep improving. So the whole journey this summer is just gonna be learning and growing every single game. So it was good to get a good 90 out. We have another game on Monday. We're gonna be playing Grand Rapids. So another big game, we just have to take it game by game and you know, keep improving. So as you guys know, man, I just wanna make the best out of this summer, learn as much as I can from the coaches, learn from the players and just learn from myself to grow even more and more as a player. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys would like to see and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all.